Let's do some math for fun, and this is about infinite series. We are going to find the sum of 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 12, and so on. It's kind of hard to see the patterns right here, but here is a note. The terms are the reciprocals of positive integers whose only prime factors are 2s and 3s. Well, what does this mean? Let's take a look of 1 over 12, especially the 12 in the denominator. If you break down 12, you know 12 is the same as saying 2 times 6, and you can keep going, right? 6 is the same as 2 times 3. So all in all, I can say 12 is the same as 2 to the second power times 3 to the first power. That's 12, right? And in fact, we can do the same thing for uh, these denominators here. For 9, we know 3 times 3 is 9, so I can put this down as 3 squared. And I also want to see the 2s, okay? So let me write this as 2 to the 0th power times 3 to the 2nd power. That's 9, right? And likewise, for 8, this is the same as saying 2 to the 3rd power times 3 to the 0th power. And you get the idea, this is 2 to the 1st times 3 to the 1st. And for 4, it's 2 to the 2nd times 3 to the 0. And for 3, this is 2 to the 0 times 3 to the 1st. And then, for 2, this is 2 to the 3rd times 3 to the 0. For the first one, this is 1. And if you want to look at the denominator, this is the same as saying 1 over 1. And if you want to see the 2s and 3s, I can put this down as 2 to the 0th power times 3 to the 0th power. So the idea is that the denominators are just the products of 2s and 3s. And sometimes you may have 0th powers right here. OK, so this right here actually converges. That's kind of amazing. And then this is actually a finite sum for this. That's even you know, way cooler than this, right? And our goal is to find out what the sum is. And I want to just kind of reorganize this right here though, because I see that the denominators are just 2 to some power times 3 to some powers, right? And let me just kind of organize this way for you guys. So let's look at the product in this way. So starting right here, okay? So I'll put this down as 1 over 2 to the 0th power. And the next one, let me put down 1 over 2 to the 1st power. And then the next one is 1 over 2 to the 2nd power and so on, okay? And then... On the side here, let me put down the threes, so I will have 1 over 3 to the 0th power, 1 over 3 to the 1st power, 1 over 3 to the 2nd power, and so on, right? And let's just have this, and then we just have like this. And of course, you know, this idea keeps on going forever. And this is what I'm going to do. For this box here, I'm going to be multiplying 1 over 2 to the 0th power with 1 over 3 to the 0th power. 1 times 1 we know is just 1 on the top, that's good. And then 2 to the 0, let me write it down in black. And then 3 to the 0, let me put it down in red. And I'll do the same thing for this boxes right here. For this one, it will be 1 over 2 to the 1st times 3 to the 0. And then right here, it will be 1 over 2 to the 2nd times 3 to the 0. And so on, right? OK. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add this up. And what happened is that, you see, when I add this up, I will have a common factor 1 over 3 to the 0th power, isn't it? And when I add them up, I can factor out the common factor. So let me put this down right here for you guys. This will be, let me factor this out, 1 over 3 to the 0th power, right? They all have that. And then for the rest, we will have 1 over 2 to the 0th, plus 1 over 2 to the 1st, plus 1 over 2 to the 2nd, and so on, so on, so on. We can put that into a summation form, right? So all the tools right here, I can put it down as summation. Let me use i for the index. i goes from 0 and then to infinity because you have infinitely many of them. And the forms are 1 over 2 to a power, right? So let me put down 1 over 2 to the i. That's what we have. All right. And let's work on the second row. And once again, I'm going to add them up. So I'm going to add this up, add this up, and in this row here, we will have a common factor, 1 over 3 to the first, right? So I'll do the same thing, 1 over 3 to the first, and the leftovers are 1 over 2 to the 0 plus 1 over 2 to the first plus 1 over 2 to the second, and so on. We can put that into a summation form again. Same exact one, isn't it? So, you know, this is going to be i goes from 0 to infinity, 1 over to the i. This is more organized, isn't it? Next one, same thing, right? But let me just write it down. 1 over. Factor out what? Factor out 1 over 3 to the second, right? And then still, 
1 over 2 to a power, and we are going to add them up. Put in the summation form, i goes from 0 to infinity 1 over 2 to the i. So as you can see, if you add up the rows, you will have all the powers of 2s multiplying with all the powers of 3s, right? So if you look at it this way, you are not going to miss out any powers. It's kind of hard to tell from this original form, but this is way more organized. So we should know what this is, and we should also know what this is, likewise. Eventually, what we're going to do is we are going to add this up, right? Because keep in mind, all these are you know, keep on going, you know, keep on going to the right, keep on going down below, and so on. Can we add them up? Yeah. If you want to work this out first, up to you, okay? This is just going to be a number, right? This is just a number. But I want to just write it down in a quarter way for you guys, okay? So, eventually, we have a lot of this, right? Infinitely many of them. Well, everybody has this term, right? And this is just a number. Don't get me wrong, this is just going to be a number. So I can factor it out again. And let me put down the factor at the end, like this. Sum i goes from 0 to infinity, and then we have 1 over 2 to the i. I'm going to figure out this number uh, in a second, okay? And then let's look at the red ones. We are going to add up. See, this is adding, okay? This is adding, right? Because we have to keep going like this as well. We have to add up all the rows. We did that already. And now we have to add up all the columns. So we can have everything. For this here, you see, we have 1 over 3 to a 0, plus 1 over 3 to the first, plus 1 over 3 to the second, and so on, right? That's another summation, isn't it? Sigma, when I go, well, I cannot use I. Technically, I have to use like another letter just to be legitimate. Let me just put down, let's say, J. J goes from 0 to infinity, 1 over 3 to the J, okay? This is the J, all right? And now, how can we add this up? Well, let me remind you guys the formula. Whenever you're trying to add, uh, let me just say N right here, just for formula purpose, okay? 0 to infinity, R to the nth power, this is going to be 1 over 1 minus r under the condition that if the absolute value of r is less than 1, right? You can use this. The r here is 1 over 3, the r here is 1 over 2. Alright, so for this one, it will be 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3. This one is going to be 1 over 1 minus 1 half, alright? Just like this. And now, I know if you guys are watching my video, especially for this series, right, Math for Fun, you guys should know how to compute this, and I'm running out of space, so I'll leave the work to you guys. This times that, you do whatever you want, at the end, you will end up with 3. How cool is this? 